Baking for me really reminds me of family gatherings, of you know, memories of grandparents and parents, and you know, it's just really that special time. And I think that's why I really enjoy baking so much. Just kind of have those memories as you're putting these exact ingredients together. First time I baked a cake was for one of the kids in the main for her birthday. I had to be careful and I had to do it right and you know that extra effort of, about caring for somebody and, and, and making sure that they have you know a treat. And I was really excited to do something for her that was um, that was nice. <laughs> It's really wonderful to be surrounded by all that useful energy at, at, at the camp. Um, so what, what are some of the things that you teach at the camp? We teach uh, language, our, our history, um, basic information about our culture that uh, doesn't always get taught in other places. Uh, we teach about our medicinal plants and edible plants and nature and how we survived with simply the things surrounding us. How do you find these kids? Is it through the school um, and during the year, or are they are they just always the same kids that keep coming back? Or we do have a number of kids, core kids, that come back every year, uh, that really make a connection with our staff, and we introduce ourselves through the school systems. We do in-school and after-school programs in the school districts um, in Gregory, Todd, Millette County. Uh, that are part of the Rosebud Indian Reservation. Yeah. Well, and what's unique is like, you know, you're teaching them about the land and then, and then the, 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 the bees as the pollinator, but then you're kind of taking it even further because then it's like here, now we can um, make honey. We, we can sell the honey. We started uh, working with bees about three years ago. A tribal member from the Pine Ridge Reservation came over, a colleague of mine, Dave Braveheart came and shared with me that he was a hobby beekeeper and he shared with us that that there is serious problems with bees um, with the um, the pesticides or the things that are that are um, affecting the bee population and so I we invited him to come and speak to our kids at one of our camp and they were really intrigued by um, the whole uh, circle of, circle of life connection they asked how they could help the bee population and for Dave it was simple he said keep bees and so uh, that was the beginning of Honey Lodge we decided we started with three hives uh, we're now up to 50 hives uh, and the youth have taken that on and really once they've been with our program and learned the core values and virtues and how to live as a Lakota having a confidence in knowing who you are this became a, a wonderful opportunity to learn how to live that in an entre entrepreneurial yeah, experience. Yeah, I mean, like you self-empowering you to have a job that you have created. And this is an opportunity for them to learn what it means to truly care for something else and be responsible. And then to take those and learn business skills. Yeah. What does it take to market, to create a label? Yeah, I, I think what's so neat about this project is, you know, to teach kids the value of money and, and, and uh, work ethic. Aaron and Felicia, so it was really fun, you know, going out and a little scary. Um, watching you guys uh, earlier with the bees and, and so what, what is your favorite aspect though of, of the whole process of, of hunting, of, of like bee, beekeeping? Mm, for me, the aspect of it would be like just having something productive to do, and it's really good for the environment. Now, how long have you guys been doing this, you, you guys? I've been doing it for a year. Okay. I've been doing it for a year, too. So throughout the year, has there yes. been something that you're like, wow, I didn't know that, or? I didn't know the, the women bees did the most work. But, um, well, we know that. They always do it, that well, in every society, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the okay. Yeah, I didn't know the drones, the ones that protect the hive. I didn't know they were the men. Well, I did, yeah. but like... Yeah, you didn't really know the whole role. Yeah, I didn't know which role it was. Because I never knew how to make honey. And I'm still learning a lot from bees. 
How many pounds actually of honey have you harvested? We've actually harvested and, and sold uh, quite a, a, a significant, for us, amount of honey. Uh, we've averaged over about 1,400 pounds of honey um, in a little over uh, a year. Oh, wow. And, and we also have uh, keep some to use at our camp, for our youth camp. And it, so the funds that we yeah, use. Yeah, because you're yeah. probably able to distribute, which is nice. Now you can kind of pass things on. And right, now we can pass things on. And once we realized that other people were interested in buying our honey, uh, then we decided, okay, we've got to figure out how to market it. And then, oh, by the way, what do we do with the funds? Well, the funds, as with any business, a portion of the funds have to go into continuing yeah. to support the business. Um, any, any profit above that goes back into the youth. It really yeah. does. Uh, it goes into helping some of our lead honey and beekeepers to provide them a stipend. Yeah. There just isn't enough summer youth programs out there. Well, being outside and outdoors and um, yeah, it's really, it's a very magical. Well, we are just really committed to helping our youth. We can make some substantial changes when we're able to help youth create that foundation of self-identity and then helping them to figure out how they live that way in the world now.